Today we'll be discussing whether Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards are getting too expensive to open. With all the chaos that was last year, Logan Paul, the Pokemon bubble, Yu-Gi-Oh prices exploded. We've definitely seen a retrace in the past six months or so, with things slowly back on the rise. How this begs the question, is this the lowest that these boxes are going to get? Of course, when we look at that old vintage era, whether it's Watsi or, you know, that classic or GX era of Yu-Gi-Oh, things seem to be out of price and only even going crazier, guys. With that first Ed base set or that LOB first edition, 50 grand or so for that Yu-Gi-Oh! And on the other side for that Pokemon, that 350 to 400 grand mark. And let's be real guys, if you guys weren't gonna buy this already, you're not gonna buy it now. Pre this whole Logan Paul bubble and everything, pre 2020, I know we saw prices around that 100k for Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! around that 10k, with each product almost going up by 500%. And this of course does trickle down into the lower sets guys, and we can see this in GX era, 5D boxes going up and up, doubling in the past months or so, even looking at them older boxes, you know, that EX era going even to black and white, even that XY guys, sets like that flash fire I've risen in the past year or so, sitting around that five grand mark or so of booster box. And I know guys, I definitely don't think some of these sets deserve it. And it is a weird one to see everything jumping up at exponential weights, whether it's modern, vintage, this and that. Even going into that modern as mentioned, we're seeing newer sets on that Yu-Gi-Oh side, Toon Chaos, Rise of the Duelist, Battles of Legend Armageddon, Ghosts from the Past, King Court, all dramatically increasing, going up by at least 50 to that 100% mark by release, guys, or shortly after. And no one wants to say, oh yeah, guys, I could have bought this box for $60, now they're sitting at 120 And plus, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon are for children, right? And what kids are going to go out there, especially ask their parents, and parents say yes to buying, you know, a $120 booster box when they were $60 a couple weeks before? Like, on the one hand, it is understandable to see those vintage and WotC sets, you know, that first edition Yu-Gi-Oh! LOB through class. GX box is going to crazy amounts as those are the pinnacle of the hobby guys and come on if you haven't bought one already When are you gonna go out and buy one now? But it's when it gets to the crazy point of modern selling out scalpers jumping in just to reflip these boxes for double or triple well, Look at celebrations with all that hype even when you're going over to them exclusives the Amazon Prime exclusive collection and Pokemon Center ETB exclusives scalpers and bots just picking them all out just to reflip them for crazy amounts. And I know, okay, not everyone may be looking to get this set, especially kids and people of less income, but hey, it's not like these are just one-offs for the products, guys. We're seeing all celebrations going to crazy prices. Evolving Skies booster boxes would just came out going to almost $200 a box. Like, who's gonna pay these prices? And I know there's gonna be reprints coming and this and that. What about people for Christmas, their birthdays, this and that? People that have been, been waiting months for special occasions just to get one box of Pokemon cards? Just to find out it's gone up by 60 or so dollars and completely out of range. Whether they can't afford it now, someone's not gonna buy it for them, etc. Or just that price memory, guys. And even for you collectors and investors out there saying that, oh yeah, I was even thinking about grabbing a case of them involving Skies. But now they've gone up by $30, $50 each box? No way, no way. And then people end up missing out, guys. Now this is crazy, but we are seeing some things that Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh are doing to try to battle these scalpers and crazy prices. For example, now Yu-Gi-Oh is starting to take that Pokemon approach, releasing different products in waves, guys. And this is only going to help for them prices, especially once the second and third waves come out, to help price correct from all those scalpers and early flippers. But hey, as well as Pokemon have recently announced that on their websites they're going to be cancelling orders made by bots, guys. Now, I don't know exactly how this is going to work and how on top of it Pokemon's going to be, but we could see a dramatic increase of supply, especially if bots aren't able to purchase, it being the majority of the issue of why things sell out instantly on that day one, you know, that one, two seconds in, but hey, I just hope with all the delays in Yu-Gi-Oh come up and certain sets being pushed back to next year that we're not going to see prices continue to rise up for them new sets. But hey guys, click here to watch this, or else we may have to sell Django to buy that next Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh set. Nope.